Good morning and welcome to Master Trader, where you can learn to use simple market and stock analysis to make money investing and trading. I'm Greg Capra. Today we're going to take a look at the markets and I'm going to show you a pattern and we're going to determine whether it's a whipsaw pattern or an opportunity to make money. First take a look at the Dow, which has been touted in the media every day as at making new all-time highs and it just doesn't pull back folks it's uh, a bit unusual for prices or the market itself not to pull back for such a long period of time and when I say pull back I don't mean any type of a crash type of situation which I'm going to get to and make that video however it is normal for markets to pull back and and correct a bit and that hasn't happened for quite some time so as the markets pushing ahead what we see is it's really just grinding ahead and you see the Dow here as it pushes up just a little bit each day um, and now this week you know the beginning of the week is where the move happened actually this is a monthly chart that's a little ominous that the monthly chart has had a wide range bar because wide range bars after a run historically end a move but let's take a look at the weekly chart first um, it's getting a little extended here, actually quite extended from the 20 period moving average. That moving average is just a guide as to show um, the extension, not overbought, but just extended from what is actually price support or what would hold prices on a pullback. You can see over here back in 2017 when prices got maybe even half the extension from that 20 period moving average, which is a simple one, price is corrected. They pulled in a little bit, they went sideways, that's normal, and then they continued the new advance. So as this price has gotten ahead of itself, the expectation of a pullback grows every single day. And it just might end with a extended move, or it could be a gap up that just reverses. It's unknown how the top actually happens, the short-term top. Uh, but what we'll see right now is just grinding. But let's look and see where things are at right now with the futures. And you can see just a little narrow range day today and, and the grinding higher and the extension. We have the NASDAQ futures, which really have just gone sideways. They're not moving like the Dow is. The last four days have just gone sideways and... We have that one wide range bar, and this is actually bullish, but it, it's whippy. Going bullish at the top of a wide range bar, consolidating like that is, is a bullish pattern. It's a slight consolidation, but it is far from that 20 MA on the daily and the weekly time frame. So pullback is likely not too far off. Let's take a look at the S&Ps. Similar pattern, a consolidation over the last several days where it's gotten whippy and right? whipsawed the tails on the top and, and the bottom there. Uh, they're up this morning about nine points. NASDAQ's up 35 points. Actually, Amazon, as I'm speaking here, is up 15 points. Um, and you can see how prices are becoming extended from the 20 period moving average. Now, one of the stocks that's also helping the NASDAQ this morning is Intel. The question is, is it just a whipsaw pattern or an opportunity to make money? Now, as we look at the daily chart, we do see a whipsaw type of a pattern. It's chopping around going sideways. Here you get you know, this, this deep pullback. It almost filled the gap. It didn't quite get there pushes up to make a new all-time high, breaks back down again under the lows, and then starts its way back up again. That is a whipsaw type of a pattern. However, when situations like this happen, the well, best thing to do is stand aside, but evaluate from a higher time frame. Because right now, Intel is actually trading up here on very positive earnings. Now, when we look at, and that's why I wanted to go to the monthly time frame to get a longer term view of what's happening here, what we see is a consolidation at the top of a wide range bar. Now, the difference between this one and what's happening in the markets right now is that this one came out of a consolidation, 
not after multiple bars are running higher. This is the most bullish wide range bar, igniting bar that you can have coming out of a larger consolidation and then going sideways at the top of the wide range bar where the candle bodies are up there. So are these tails in this case, but we primarily want to see that the bodies are up in the top of that wide range bar. Now, not only is this a multiple year base, it's happening after a decade long or longer base than a decade where Intel had this big move up into 1999, into 2000, and then the crash and this long rounding bottom type of consolidation here, the smaller consolidation and the breakout in the wide range bar. And Intel is moving up above here and it has a lot of opportunity to continue to move higher over the coming months. So we like Intel, we say it's a buy here. Uh, we're looking for it to move higher. And this whipsaw pattern is over. Now we'll see how this ends today. The only thing we don't have going for this stock right now is the extension of the market, which if the market does pull back, we'll look for Intel to be showing relative strength. Good trading, everyone. We'll talk next week.